The SHG consists of platinum wire that is connected to a PT surface in contact with an aqueous solution containing 1 mH plus in equilibrium with H2 gas at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. Let's take a look and see what happens at the standard hydrogen electrode. In this hydrogen electrode, hydrogen gas is bubbled around a platinum electrode. In the molecular view, the PT surface catalyzes the oxidation of hydrogen molecules to protons or the reduction of protons to hydrogen gas. At the electrode, hydrogen gas can either be oxidized to form hydrogen ions or hydrogen ions can be reduced to form hydrogen gas. Hence, two reactions are possible at the electrode. Oxidation H2 gives 2H plus plus 2E minus. Reduction 2H plus plus 2E minus gives H2. This reaction is assigned a standard electrode potential E of 0, 0.00 volt and serves as reference. As you remember, two half cells complete a voltaic cell. Let's take a close look. Here on the left, we have zinc half cell and on the right, we have standard hydrogen electrode. The electrons are moving from zinc electrode to hydrogen electrode. So, zinc is being oxidized. The voltmeter shows that the standard cell potential of a galvanic cell consists of a SHE and a Zn by Zn2 plus couple is E cell is equal to 0 0.76 volt. Because the zinc electrode in this cell dissolves spontaneously to form Zn2 plus aqueous ions while H plus aqueous ions are reduced to H2 at the platinum surface. The standard electrode potential of Zn2 plus by Zn couple is minus 0.76 volt. 